Art. Hi, Sherry. Jacqueline, so nice oh, to see you. Welcome, so great welcome to, to see our you. Apiary Chinook oh. Company. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So we're standing close to an active beehive, <laughs> and I'm. Um, I see you're a little hesitant about this. I am this. a little hesitant. Uh, what's the worst case scenario? Because I'm not dressed to go over there. Okay. Well, worst case scenario, I would say probably somebody's going to land on your shoulder or something, and just stay still. The worst thing to do is start flailing your arms because then they know something's wrong. Okay, so, so no flailing, no yeah. flailing. That's the worst thing you can do when you have a bee land on you. Yes, exactly. Okay, So All right. you and I are going to sneak up on them. So you'll notice here we have two entrances, the top and the bottom, and they're busy at both. The uh, top box has got primarily honey in it, and in actual fact you can see that they're busy. They really don't care about the fact that you and I are standing here. So just for the record, <laughs> I'm standing near a beehive that's and, active. Yes, and I'm just I going to be relaxed. About it. And peaceful. Just peace and calm. And peace and calm. And nobody's landing. They're just coming in and out. They just... This is don't the craziest care. thing I have ever done. <laughs> they just don't care. Somebody's checking me out. <laughs> so I know that there are different bees and every bee has a, a different job. What is the bee that is flying around you? Yeah, or she was? could be a guard bee, but she also is realizing that we're not posing a threat. So what happens if you hit a bee? <laughs> what? As like if it's going to... A Apparently, Smack it? Yeah. Oh, it'll release pheromones and now the whole world knows. That, I, that I've done something wrong? Yes. Yeah. Really? And so then what will happen? Will more bees come to its rescue? Or? Yeah. Yes. Distinguished. Yeah. Yeah. They're, really? That's when they get in defense mode is when they release those pheromones. Wow. The lifespan of a bee is actually only a few weeks. Yes. Is that correct? Six weeks. Six weeks. But the queen bee lasts for a couple of years? Three well, to five years, eh? Three to five years, okay. Yes, yeah. So how many bees do you have in there right now? Do well, you think? Well, the rough number, yeah, I haven't counted them. We, <laughs> we brown them every spring, no. <laughs> I'd like to see the little... We chip them. The little <laughs> they, they often say that the estimate for one hive is roughly 60,000 bees. So <gasps> wow. that's, that's sort of the rough guess, yes. Okay, that's amazing. So you have guard bees yes. for the hive, and then you've got bees that protect the queen. The uh, tendons to the queen, they the... feed her and everything else, yep. Okay, and then what else? What other kind of bee? Jobs are there? Yeah. You're thinking of applying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, for the first half of their uh, short lifespan, uh, they do jobs within the hive. So that starts off as an attendant to the queen, a nurse bee takes care of the brood because the queen, she only lays those eggs. She's, you know, like they're out to the babysitter after that. Wow. So okay. uh, feeds them. Then there's also bees that are building new honeycomb because that is very important to store the, uh, the honey that they're bringing in right now. The breakdown in there is really fascinating because there's bees that make the beeswax, bees that actually design the comb and individual other bees that build the comb just wow. in itself. So. Oh, somebody finally said, oh, came to say okay. hi. Okay, so now, so you're just going to talk to him and he's going to do her, work? Her, her. All the worker bees are female. Of course they are. Yes. I feel like I've kind of outlived the peaceful moment I can do inside of me right now. So why don't we go and check out the Discovery Center? Because you have this whole amazing center designed to do teachable moments for like school programs, is that correct? School, general public, people who are thinking about beekeeping, not too sure. Uh, but just really to educate people about the whole fascinating world of honeybees and how we do our beekeeping as well. 